Let's continue our math adventure today. Let's learn how to divide fractions. Now, a key concept for us in dividing fractions is this concept of reciprocals. Remember, every fraction has a reciprocal. And the way we find the reciprocal is we literally reverse the position of the numerator and denominator. So if I originally have a fraction of 3 fourths, I'm going to move the numerator of 3 down into the denominator. I'm going to move the denominator of 4 up into the numerator. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. We can do that with any fraction or whole number. So when we go to actually divide fractions, we know that multiplication is the inverse operation of division. Technically, we don't actually have a way to truly divide fractions. What we do is we change the division problem to its inverse and make it a multiplication problem. So if I have this problem 6 sevenths divided by 3 sevenths, what I'm going to do is I always keep the first number the same. So you're just going to bring down the 6 sevenths. But I take that division and I switch it to its opposite operation, which is multiplication. But because I switched it or inverse did an inverse operation there, I've got to do something to this second fraction. And it's always the second fraction. It's whatever follows that division sign. Well, what we do with it is we change that fraction to its reciprocal. So I'm going to reverse the position of that numerator and denominator. So that 7 will go in my numerator, the 3 will go in my denominator. Now, this actually accomplishes the exact same thing as division. So really, all we do is always change division to a multiplication problem. Now remember, I like to re reduce along my diagonals. So I'm going to look on those diagonals and I'm going to see is there anything that I can divide into both of those. And I know I can divide both of these by 7. And 7 divided by 7 is 1, 7 divided by 7 is 1. Now I look on this diagonal and I also know I could reduce it because I could divide by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and I could divide by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So what I did is I just reduced those fractions up front. So really what I have is 2 over 1 times 1 over 1, and numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, I get an answer of 2. So if we have mixed numbers, we want to do the same thing. But remember, we need a single numerator, a single denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now this first one's a negative, so I've got to keep that negative going. But 10 times 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21 halves. They're the same thing, I just named them as a, in an improper fraction from a mixed number. Now, I don't start solving. I'm going to keep that division sign because I need to change the second one too. I never try to do more than one step at a time. So I'm going to do 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Once I've rewritten it, then I go back and I change it from a division problem to a multiplication problem. So the first number always stays the same. I'm going to switch that sign from division to multiplication. I'm going to take the reciprocal of the second one. Now I'm going to look on my diagonals and see if I can reduce up front. Well, I see here I could divide both by 2. I see here I could divide both of them by 7. Now I really have the fraction negative 3 over 1 times 2 over 1. And it's numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. It's a negative times a positive, so it's got to be a negative. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So my answer is negative 6. So multiplication and division of fractions are almost the same, and we always change any division problem to a multiplication problem, but we multiply by the reciprocal. The challenge is up to you. I hope you're up for it. Good luck.